Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you today with a little pour. Um, I've got this 40 by 50 canvas and I'm going to do the composition that sort of everything comes from here up. Hopefully it's well, I'm not going to say anything because you have this thing in your mind and then it never ends up to be how you envisage. But I'm going to give it a try. So I'm just pouring some white on here, which I have already have mixed up. And I'm going to just cover my canvas. So I've got some slippy slidiness to actually go from. This one, you will see me using my hands. I am just going to use my hands to cover the canvas and it's absolutely allowed and acceptable. Remember there's in my art room anyway the only rule is that there's no rules so there is absolutely no rules to any of this. It's abstract art sometimes looks like expressionism I think they call it. I don't know all the names for the different things is you just do what gives you joy and that's that's my art room so I'm going to do today with my fingers and it's absolutely fine. That are the kookaburras that you can hear in the background there having a good old time. They're having a laugh at what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure. I think crazy lady time, which that's okay. It's absolutely okay. Rightio. I might want to put, I will... Put a bit more paint up here because I've got a plan for this. So I need to be able to, I'm gonna do every kind of thing in this. It's gonna have a kiss and a blow and a swipe. It's gonna have everything in it. I, From what I'm envisaging in my head. So I will do it that way to start with. And I will give it a bit, I've got a little bit of the deep sea still in this container, whether it will come out. Oh, yet yeah, it does. So I've got deep sea here. That's my plan for that. And I want to put, and I've lost it, literally lost it. I think I need to dribble some of that up there which is my this is turquoise but I put a good load of white in to tone it down so I want to put a bit of that up there probably better if I had it in a container where I could use the nozzle to squirt it on but you know that's perfectly fine you do what you have got your hands on at the time Radio. So now down this end, I really want to load it up with some super delicious colours. So I'm going to put my, this is um, my Berry Delicious, which I make out of cool red, a good dash of phalo blue and a little blob of black. And it's turned out, you know, like a really dark cherry. This particular one, I've put a good squirt of my dragonfly glaze. It doesn't matter what colour dragonfly glaze you're using it, it still gives your paint a lovely sparkling effect. So that's what I've done in here. And I'm literally going to wiggle this around. So not too much of it. Then I've got some cool red already made up in this particular container. So don't get rid of any of your containers. Just um, pre keep using them as much as you possibly can. So this will give me a nice squirty end. So I'm going to do my wiggles through here. And it looks a crazy, crazy idea. I know, no. But trust me, trust me, she said. It's going to turn out beautiful. How's that for positivity? Rightio, I want to put, where's it gone? Oh, right in front of my eyes, yellow. I know lots of people don't like, oh, what are you adding yellow for? 
you add it because it's your art, your rules, your way. You know, remember you um, got to enjoy what you do. And if a inspiration takes you in a way that somebody else might think, oh my gosh, go with it because that's the way we find out things that's the way we you know well that's the way everybody finds out different techniques or something as such i'm actually going to put a bit of yellow up there because i want a bit of sunshine oh, i want a bit of sunshine who doesn't want a bit of sunshine rightio this is crazy crazy time Rightio, we're going to put some phalo blue and again that has got a good dash of the dragonfly glaze. So I got mine from the Australian online shop Capriole Shabby Chic who sent me a nice beautiful selection of that and colour shift paints which I'll show you in a different video. But for now I'm doing this. And the reason behind you put in all these crazy colors it looks as though you cover them all up when you do a um, swipe over it but then when you come to do some flowers and things they all these crazy colors all pop up I'm put a bit more red absolutely fine and then I will finish this off with a bit of my white, or do I want to swipe with white? No, that's okay. Actually, probably. Rightio, let's see if I can just give a gentle tilt. This is going to send that off tether. Probably shouldn't have put that on until I tilted this, but you, so this is the reason you live and learn. Tilt a bit over that way. Tilt it a bit this way. And then I need to recenter it again. Then just recenter. My dog's going crazy out there, but that's all right. Rightio, let's give this bit first bit of my mad craziness. I've got my little blower. Actually, it needs some more. It needs some more white to be able to blow around in there. This will dull the colour down, putting white on top, but that's absolutely fine because I can see I've already put more than I intended to. So as I do, let's go for it, hey? Do the wiggles. Beautiful. Probably shouldn't have gone so high up there, but I've done it now. So it's done, done, done that bit. Let's give this a whiz over with my dryer. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And those colours at the bottom. Carnival time. Carnival time. Rightio. That's given that that. Let me see if I run this along here. And give it a swipe so like I said it's got everything in this particular style I'm trying to find a thin piece of ah, goodness me I've got so many different bits cut up different sizes so I might have to cut a piece 
It's just the soft plastic file divider that I use for my swipes. Actually, I could use that size. That's perfectly fine. So I might try here. I'm going to swipe it down. And get this kind of northern lights effect down the bottom. Radio. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I am liking it already. I've just got a good feeling about it. So <laughs> let that stay with me. Wow. It, oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. definitely looks like your flower garden that's layered you've got this loveliness up here which actually looks really lovely it's got a few blowouts on it but don't stress over it just try and pretty it up if you don't think it goes just get a skewer and um, wiggle through it which turns it into something much nicer so it does these wispy bits that adds a bit of softness to it and it definitely gives the whole piece depth. Lovely, 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 I love it. And that's all you've got to please is yourself, remember? Critics, no home here. Criticism doesn't have any place in your art room so you just enjoy 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 now I said it's gonna have everything so it's had the Dutch pour it's had a swipe it's had pour and now it's gonna have a good kissing so the blowing kiss has been done this might need to be left a little while longer to just it actually works fantastic if your paint is a little bit uh, drier and a little bit on the tacky side. But here we go, here we go. Oh my, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's super beautiful. Where can I put it? I'm sure I had a canvas here with kisses all over it. Ah. Okay, I haven't, I, I know I all, well, I quite often do that, but when you're trying to do a video, you can't possibly do everything. You're trying to keep momentum in your video. So, but that can go straight onto another canvas and make really beautiful artwork too. So those colors are super duper gorgeous super duper gorgeous and like i said they often work a lot better if you're having trouble with your kisses if you walk away and leave your paint to dry off so me doing these big, bigger balloon kisses i will walk away and then come away back and do some of the smaller kisses in there so a lot more color up there than there is there I'll show you what I mean. So I don't want to do too many of the big ones, but wow, the colours are super duper gorgeous. So it's a complete flower garden. And once you varnish or um, resin your work, I mean, it's obviously I, I do a pouring fusion resin uh, uh, finish on a lot of my paintings and it is a gorgeous finish. So have a look for the video underneath on my varnishing method. Um, it's super easy and gives a super gorgeous finish. I'm not adding any more of those larger balloons. Rosie, you're right underneath my feet, little puppy dog. And she said, I'm not going to move because I need to be as close to you as possible. There you go. This is the smaller balloon that's just got a little bit of water in it to give it a little bit of weight. So it kind of, you don't have to be a super duper artist that can paint 
um, petals and things on a flower because the balloon will do it for you. It's got magic, what do they call them? Um, magic um, properties in it that it can create and make you look like a really good artist. If somebody that didn't know that it was a balloon that created that, they think that you've spent hours perfect, perf perfecting, do they? <laughs> I'm getting this mixed up here. I'm doing my balloon kisses on my bottom bound border, not on my bottom, but <laughs> my, oh gosh, this is getting X-rated. Um, on the bottom of my canvas. Oh my goodness. That is super duper gorgeous. Having that, this is just glistening through there because of that um, dragonfly glaze in the paint. Now let me turn it around. I don't know if I want to do any more, just one second. A little bit of fluffing up this. Super duper gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. What do you guys think of that one? I really am happy with that. It's super duper gorgeous. Got my hands all over it. Silly Jilly. Okie doke, I think that is me done. I love it, I might come back when it's just dried off a bit and see if it needs a little bit more super duper embellishment with my teeny tiny, teeny turner tiny, teeny tiny balloon. But you can too do abstract art, so easy. So if you haven't given it a go, please do so. Really good for your relaxation and your brain when you're overthinking things to just come in and do a bit of art. Remember your art your way. I am super duper happy with that. Buzz over. And I will let it dry overnight and we'll Come back and I'll come back in before I take photos of it tomorrow. So, my lovelies, how about that? A little bit of sunshine in your life, a little bit of carnival, carnival. Super duper gorgeous. I love it. I'm very happy with it. And I hope you like it too. Or even if you want to give it a go, but you want to put your own spin on it, you know, go for it. I say just go for it, you good thing. Just give it a try. See how relaxing it is. It can be frustrating, but just take a breath, walk away, come back and try again. So until tomorrow, you gorgeous people, I will love and leave you. And I want you to have a super duper week and um, yeah, go out and smell the roses. Alrighty, until tomorrow, bye for now.